Mo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, over this last weekend, I had some friends and family over here in the shop on a Saturday evening. That's pretty normal around here, and we're playing some games, and we happen to be playing some darts, and I've got this makeshift dart board over here that I've had for a couple of years, and uh, you know, I'm able to pull it out and hang it up and use it when we want and take it down and store it away, and it's quite convenient. So this right here is what I have to store all my darts in and every time we play I pull this uh, little box off the shelf and throw it out and everyone picks through this box and, and grabs their arrangement of darts or whatever they want and I had one of my friends say, hey Jimbo, why can't we build a rack to hang these darts in or put these darts in to make it more accessible and more organized than this box you have here. I just thought that's a great idea. So that's today's project. We're going to build a dart rack. Let's get started. Okay, so I started by going to the back of my dump truck. I just recently finished a job right here, we, a big pour, and we had this leftover lumber. We are getting ready to go to the dump, and I thought I'd select a, a pretty straight piece of wood that I found in there. And, yeah, that's the best I could do right here. So we're going to use this to cut the cut the piece out that we need. You know, you're probably wondering uh, why I just don't uh, use a 2x4 as small as I'm cutting this thing up, but uh, the measurements are actually... Uh, about four and a half inches uh, by 11 and a half so a little bit a little bit bigger than a two by four so i'm just running through my table saw right here and getting the uh, the edges nice and true and straight on both sides uh, and then once i did that you can see i'm just uh, marking three quarters of an inch all the way around and that's going to be the start of the holes that i'm going to to use and then every two inches on center um, and that's uh, that's a good spacing and then every inch and a quarter this way and that's going to give me uh, six rows with uh, you know three darts in each row and I set up this jig on my drill press right here once I got everything all clamped down I was able to run it perfectly through on both sides because it was three quarter of an inch uh, three quarters of an inch I should say on both sides and then I just adjusted uh, uh, my little jig right there to to get these ones in the center drilled out and that worked pretty good, pretty fast. Now I want to be able to prop this up a little bit. So um, I thought I would just kind of cut a groove in the back uh, of the uh, two by material right here. So I could put a piece of quarter inch plywood in there, maybe about an inch inch uh, long or so, just to give it a little prop. And then I ran it through my planer. Why not? I have it. I didn't need to, but uh, may as well use it. And then a nice quarter rounding over bit right here to soften up the edges. Um, make everything look nice and crisp and clean. And once I got that done, uh, I just took some glue, and that's just the way I'm going to glue in this piece of quarter-inch plywood. I'm not going to use any kind of fasteners. I don't need to. There's just no, actually, no weight, no nothing, no structural value to this whatsoever. So just some glue. That thing is in there forever. It's never going to go anywhere. And just a coat of uh, some golden oak uh, stain to put on this thing. kind of matches the, the theme of what I've got on my cabinets uh, in the garage right here. I thought that looked pretty good. Once I did that, just wiped everything all off nice and clean. Let that dry a little bit. And then just added some, uh, some beeswax orange oil for, uh, for a nice glossy finish. Okay, there it is. The dart rack and the organizer is complete. I know it was just a simple little project, but it was a fun project, and it sure beats that old box these darts were in before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe for more videos. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.